Welcome back to another Aegis Sub tutorial. In this video, I'll be talking a little bit about uh, effects and templates for kind of uh, animating and making the uh, text appear a little more showy like this. So this is just an effect that I downloaded. Um, and it's a little glitchy, but it the way it works is like this. So we actually have the code down here. So we still have all of our same, um, I applied this to all of our uh, same timed subtitles that we used before. But then it generated all this code here. This is all the code for the timing and animation of those uh, effects. Um, I'll show you how to do that, but I'm going to show you a couple more real quick here. So here's another one. So very cool stuff. And then here's a third one. So um, you can make your own. Um, you can make your own effects. And maybe uh, I'll learn how to do that and then teach you how to do it. But I have to learn first. Um, but I want to show you what, so what's actually happening here is um, we take the text and then we have to um, copy in the actual code. So I'll show you one of these templates here. So here's like a couple of the ones, um, I forget which ones we were using, but I think like there's this perfect day one. So if we open up perfect day, uh, it looks like, oh, I should have opened up the associated AVI with it. I'll, I'll just open a dummy video real quick and we'll see what it looks like. So this is maybe, this is the one we were doing earlier. So we got to find the, the correct portion. So it just sort of, oh no, we didn't do this one. This is a cool one too. This is really cool. That's pretty cool, huh? And so it just kind of plays. This is a really, really cool one, actually. So it's got a translation at the bottom, and it's got some animation happening at the top. So this is what the raw template looks like. So if we wanted to apply this to ours, we could do a couple things. OK, I ended up breaking this one, so let's just do it. Um, let's start over from scratch. And so I'll show you how the, at least my understanding of effects so far with the limited time I've played with them. So we do this. Let's open up. I'm going to go File, Open Subtitles. I'm going to open these subtitles that we were doing earlier for 18 in life and I'll open up the video and everything. So this, this is just my default styling that I did. Nothing too special. Uh, we want this to be a little bit more animated. So what we'll do, let's try it this way actually. I'm going to select the first line and then go to the last line and just go copy, copy lines. And then I'll open up this other, uh, this perfect day one. So this is the one I want to copy. The one that looks sort of like uh, this here. So it looks really cool. And so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just replace the, um, the karaoke that it's using. So all these ones that say karaoke by it is where, uh, but we want the one with the timing. Where's the timing? So I'll come down here to where the timing ones are and I'll just highlight all of theirs and delete it. So we'll go delete lines and then I'll add my own lines in. So I'll right click here and I'll go insert before so I get a blank line so I don't copy over anything and then go paste lines. So now I have my lines in here so we see but it won't work just yet. We can play and see what it'll do. It'll just light up like normally because we need to set these with the the correct effect. Yeah. And so I'm going to highlight all of these shift and click so all of my things I copied in are highlighted. I realize this is a little bit can be confusing. You might need to watch the video twice and see everything I'm doing here. Uh, and then under under effects, we want to go to karaoke. And then under um, I don't know if this matters. I think this is what it was before, so we'll just leave it just like that. Now that that's all done, we will go to um, automation and go to apply karaoke template. So it does some processing there. And now it should have my own, oh, my timing is a little bit different, but it is working. See, so it's, it's showing, it's showing what I want it to show. It's just not doing it with the, I can bring the audio in, open audio file. I'll bring in my own audio file. So there you have it. That's kind of cool, huh? And then we could change if we wanted to, to use a dummy video and change the background. We can actually change this to be something more like black, more like a darker color. Let's just do a black. And then we can do a checker pattern on that so it'll look, this will actually look kind of cool. Yeah. 
And then we don't need those words down there at the bottom. Did I, did I get everything? Yeah, very cool. Anyway, that is uh, the effects, and that might be all I touch on for right now. I apologize. But um, so basically, we go to automation and we go to apply karaoke template and just copy in your own to the existing effects. The other option is you can copy the effects to your existing project. Um, and that's what I did with these other ones, and I got it to work okay, um, like this one here. But as much as anything, I'll tell you, I downloaded a bunch of them. I downloaded these, these are the templates I downloaded, and of these, I was only able to find, there's like 25 of them, I was only able to find uh, seven that actually worked for me. Like, even worked at all. Like, I just couldn't get the rest to work. I think it's because a lot of these are older. So we got 2014. Um, some of them were like 2012. I was noticing, and so it tells like this and see 2012, and it has the author. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what I wanted to kind of share with you. Hopefully, I didn't make that any more confusing. I just know there's a lot of like in watching tutorials online about this uh, on YouTube. A lot of them are in not English, and a lot of them are just don't have any audio at all with them, so it's kind of hard to follow what's going on. So that's my best uh, information I could give you for the time being. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll catch you in the next video if I make more in this series.